Okay, Colin, I can see that you have trying to make an adjustment based on what we talked about the, the first time on film. Uh, I've got a suggestion here for you moving forward. I, I think it shows itself pretty well on the film here. Okay, so last time we had our hands moving forward on our stride. Okay, so I can see that you're working. I'm going to take my stride and I'm going to be back. But, you know, we're falling into the, to, to, to the pattern of we're just, we're getting down early. We're not getting that down on time. Because if we swung from right there, man, you'd be great, right? Look at how the weights on our, our, our back leg there, um, our hands are back, right? Fist away from our back shoulder. You know, we're in a real good position to swing from there. So again, you know, take a look at this. You get into a good position right there to hit. I would love to see you just that back knee come flying in, that back elbow drop, and you hit from right there. But what happens is we've been taking a second stride. And on that second stride from there to there, we can see, look how our weight comes forward and our hands are starting to move. So in effect, by taking those two strides, that's where we are on our, our that's the reality of where we are in our stride. And you can just see that, that we, we, you know, committed early, which is going to make it a little bit tough, uh, you know, to hit an off speed pitch as, as well as it's, it's really mitigating some of our power and, and, and to show you from here to here, what ends up happening. Okay. So we're right about at impact and I put the arrow on your chin as we go through to extension. See how we just come up a little bit, right? So again, we're at impact there and from impact to extension. See, we just come up. And, and we don't want to worry about that. What we want to do is correct things early. So again, like the way you're working on it. Okay, I'm downloaded. That's good. But that's the stride that we want to hit from. Take a look at all the major leaguers uh, examples that we provided. And you'll see, hey, you know, that's, that's where they're at. But they just start turning from right there. You've got that second stride. And again, from here, wait, there we are down. From here now we start to see the weight and the hands come forward for our second stride. So again, in reality, our stride is here to here. And again, we've already expended all of that energy forward. It's just going to be very tough to weight back on something that's off speed. And as we showed before, it just has our direction coming up and around. We could get that chin drop and long through if we hit off of our first stride which is there. So let's work on, okay, that's the position that I'm going to get to. And from right here, what I would love to see, and, and look at the Robinson Cano video from the front, that heel goes down and your back heel comes up rather than taking that second stride where we have some things go south, where we start to see our weight come forward and our, 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 our hands come before our hip turn. As you can see, we haven't turned from that position. We start turning from there. Okay. So I'm appreciative of the fact that you're working on, all right, I'm going to load on my stride, but let's take that first stride and just swing from there rather than getting that second one in where we start to come forward.